This time on The Insiders, we're going to talk about the 10 places over which airplanes can't fly. Welcome back to The Insiders, where we give you the insight view of every question in your mind. And hey, if this is your first time here, please take a moment to hit the subscribe and bell icons now so that you can be notified of upcoming episodes from The Insiders. Perhaps you've traveled by airplane before, or maybe it's something you've always wanted to do. Traveling by airplane is fast, but it can also be very costly. While the airplane has definitely played a key role in making us the connected world that we are, did you know that there are a lot of places where airplanes don't travel? Because of this, they have to consider following some specified paths or routes. So. Please fasten your seatbelt and make sure your seat back and tray table are in their full upright and locked position because today we're going to talk about 10 places over which airplanes cannot fly. Number 10, Area 51. Starting off our list is Hami Airport, more commonly known as Area 51, a United States Air Force base located in the western United States in the Nevada desert near Groom Lake. It is a restricted area of the United States where no unauthorized people or vehicles may enter, which includes the airspace above it. Established in 1955, the base is a testing facility and is an extension of Edwards Air Force Base. Because of the secret nature of base operations, it has been the subject of many conspiracy theories, lore, and legends surrounding UFOs. Entrance to the facility is highly restricted and there is no access to the general public. The U.S. government has confirmed that various weapons and aircraft are being tested there. The official stated purpose for the base was originally for the development and testing of the U-2 aircraft. However, local people have always claimed that there was a spaceship that crash-landed in the 1950s and that the ship, along with its alien crew, were taken captive by the U.S. government and used for undisclosed research. Number 9. George Washington's Home At number 9, we have the home of George Washington, first President of the United States, located in Mount Vernon, Virginia. This mansion was built for the President. The home has been declared a monument of historical importance for the people of the USA, and as a result, the airspace above this area is restricted, including restrictions preventing any kind of aerial photography. It has been found by a private group of non-profit making organizations, which was founded in 1953 by Ann Pamela Cunningham. Number 8. Walt Disney World Coming up next on the list at number 8, we have Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida and Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Restrictions on the airspace above these famous theme parks are sometimes made on a temporary basis at the behest of the Disney theme parks out of an abundance of caution due to the huge crowd that gathers there. After 9-11, there were some concerns that these facilities might make ideal targets for terrorists who wish to have another go at 9-11. Due to this, some modest restrictions have been established over Anaheim as well as the area around Lake Buena Vista, Florida, where Walt Disney World is located. Number 7. The Bush Family Compound Coming in at number 7, we have the Bush Family Compound, which is located at Kennebunkport, Maine. It is basically located under the peninsula known as the Walker's Point, which is located at the town of Kennebunkport. It has been used by the former President of the United States, known as George H.W. Bush. It has hosted various important people inside it, and many weddings have also taken place there. The former President and his family still visit the spot, as a result of which the compound has been subjected to flight restrictions in the airspace above it. Number 6. Washington, D.C. Next on the list at number 6, we have Washington, D.C which has been closely monitored after the September 11th attacks. It has been named after the former President George Washington. This is one of the most restricted areas in the world. 
Since the city is the capital of the nation, it has therefore been restricted for transportation of any aircraft. The important government bodies, which include the Federal Aviation Administration, along with the Department of Homeland Security, have come together in order to implement a no-fly zone above Washington, D.C. There has been an identification zone, which is known as the Air Defense Identification Zone, which is basically located at the outer boundary, and to enter any aircraft inside, it first needs to get authorized. Inside the outer zone, there is also an inner zone, which basically consists of 15 nautical miles. Here, there has been a specific restriction on the flight of any public or private craft and is known as the flight restricted zone. Number five, Pantex Nuclear Facility. At number five, we have the Pantex Nuclear Facility, which is located in Amarillo, Texas. Constructed in 1942, the operation began nine months after the commencement of its construction during the Second World War. The nuclear plant is basically guarded by a very advanced high-level security, which is located at a distance of 17 miles in the northeast region of Amarillo, Texas. There is basically a flight restriction of around 10 miles, as a result of which all the workings are kept confidential, which includes blocked access to the nuclear plant site. Apart from being a no-fly zone, this area also does not encourage people to take pictures of it, and whatever picture you are going to find on the internet is taken from a very long distance. Number 4. Camp David At number 4, we have Camp David, a sort of retreat for the President of the United States, which is located at Thurmond, Maryland. Countless photographs of Presidents of the United States have been witnessed and taken by the camera at a naval support facility, which is located at Thurmond. It is the other name of Camp David, and is basically a place where Presidents meet along with formulating their retreat, which started when Franklin D. Roosevelt was the President of the United States. There have been many presidents and their families who have come here over the years. Apart from presidents, various celebrities who are high profile have been witnessed in this place over the years. Since every individual who arrives at this place is generally a VIP and are important for the country, flights have been restricted above the airspace. This is specifically within a radius of three miles that has been allocated for the no-fly zone. Number three. Boundary Water Canoe Area Wilderness Next on our list at number 3, we have the Boundary Water Canoe Area Wilderness, located in the National Forest in the northeastern U.S. state of Minnesota, and is basically under the responsibility and control of the Forest Service of the United States. It was established in 1988. This expanse is a million acres and takes up land which is around 199 miles long along the border of Canada and the United States. The area has a great number of lakes, which is basically around 1,200, eye-pleasing views of glaciers, calf canyons, and an undisturbed beauty which is natural, thereby making it a haven for people who are excited about adventurers outdoors. There has been a restriction on the airspace over the region since 1948, placed by then-President Harry Truman. The restriction does not allow aircraft to fly below 4,000 feet. Number 2. Naval Submarine Base Kings Bay Coming up on our list of 10 places where planes can't fly, at number 2, we have the submarine base Kings Bay, which is basically located in Georgia. The U.S. Navy's Atlantic Fleet, along with the submarines that represent the bulk of the nation's nuclear arsenal, call this place home. It also stores submarines that have guided missiles, along with other weapons facilities of the U.S. The base is on the Atlantic Ocean and is an important factory for missiles being housed here. There are different functions of the base, which basically includes maintenance overhaul, as well as maintaining a modern weapons facility with a wide and distinctive range of weapons and heavy artillery. Though there is a strict regulation by the government which prohibits any aircraft to take a flight in this zone, there has been a heavy violation in the government rules, as a result of which eight flights have been recorded and a record of four crashes have been tracked down at the border of the base. 
The restriction is service to 3,000 feet, which has not been well received by most of the pilots. Number one, the Kennedy Space Center. We have reached the end of the list, where at number one we have the Kennedy Space Center, which is located on Merritt Island, Florida. This has been named after one of America's greatest presidents, which is President John F. Kennedy. The Space Coast of Florida is a very popular spot for individual people who come to see the launch of a rocket, but they get to see that view from the ground and nowhere else. NASA's Kennedy Space Center, as well as the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, is being housed by Merritt Island. Various activities are being done by space organizations as well as the military which is on the island and around the island. Considering restriction of airspace by any individual or private public transport, there has been a restriction which is about 5,000 feet from the surface to sea level but can be extended to any altitude by issuing the proper notices. Where would you like to fly to on an airplane? Tell us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching, please like and share the video. We'll be back soon with yet another interesting video for you to watch. But until then, check out the top 10 U.S. military bases with UFO sightings.